question for you guys. Which coffee machine are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Breville Nespresso Virtuo – Best Pod Coffee Machine Some of you may have used Nespresso single-serve pods before and I've seen many people be fans of such machines. While in this case, our first product, the Nespresso Virtuo Coffee, comes in the spotlight. This particular model is an automatic coffee or espresso machine that gives you the ability to create a barista-grade brewed single-serve coffee or espresso cup at the touch of a single button, considering the fact that this machine has a one-button operation. To continue, with the Virtuo, you can brew five different single-serve coffee cup sizes at the touch of a button depending on your coffee needs, starting from espresso, double espresso, gran lungo, coffee and alto while you can also pour some ice on top of them to create flavoured ice coffee drinks. This machine is quite powerful for the price that it holds. To be more precise, it has a power rating of 1350 watts, and that's pretty impressive when you compare it to most other models in this price range. When you first purchase the product, it includes an Nespresso Virtuo Capsule Welcome Kit with a range of 12 single-serve coffee capsules with unique aroma profiles. Well, that's definitely a great complimentary gift. To conclude, if you're looking for a reliable and budget-friendly espresso machine that delivers great coffee quality with only a single touch operation, then the Nespresso Virtuo would be your ideal choice. Number 4. Bun BT Velocity Brew – Fastest Coffee Maker Moving on, we have the Bun BT Velocity Brew. This one is all about a fast brew, designed to clock in at under 3 minutes for 10 cups of coffee. For the heavy coffee drinking household or office, the Bun BT Velocity Brew makes some very strong arguments for itself. There are no fancy features with Bun coffee makers. They make good hot coffee very quickly, that's it. There is no brew pause, no timer, no clock, and actually no switch. More on that later. The Bun Velocity Brew BT's design is modest, even misleadingly basic. I can't stress how radically different this machine is from any drip coffee maker I've used previously. Think of it as your average kitchen counter coffee gadget that works in reverse and perhaps powered by a jet engine. This is no typical automatic coffee machine that sits dry and idle until you fill it with water and coffee, then hit the power switch. Instead, the Brew BT starts out cocked, locked and ready for Java brewing action at a moment's notice. The brew chamber hits its max temperature, 195.7 degrees Fahrenheit, within 60 seconds. That's slightly under the optimal 200 degrees, give or take 2 degrees, but the bun maintained that temperature for most of the brewing cycle. By contrast, both the Capresso MT600 and Melita 10 cup thermal only spent the tail end of their brewing process in this sweet spot. If you have your heart set on a bun machine and are willing to change the way you brew coffee, you might get away with this machine. Number 3. Gagia Classic Pro – Best Espresso Machine the Gagia Classic Pro is a semi-automatic machine that has several limitations, yet this hasn't stopped a dedicated fan base from continuing to buy them. Keep watching to find out why we think the Gagia Classic Pro is an excellent choice for a particular coffee enthusiast and why others should stay away. A good espresso machine, it goes without saying, should make good espresso. But there's a catch. At this price point, some people may choose the Gagia Classic Pro to use with a pressurized basket and pre-ground coffee, while others attracted by its capability and low price point want to grind our own coffee. Hotter water extracts coffee faster than colder water, so if you want to get into your single-origin fine espressos, you'll need temperature control. The thermostat inside the Gagia Classic Pro is a physical block that expands with heat and contracts as it cools. Like others who've reviewed this machine, the main area of disappointment is the cleaning regime. Unlike the Sage or Breville Barista Express with its enviable Clean Me button, the Gagia likes things done old school, requiring you to strip the machine. Depending on how hard your water is, you might be doing this once or twice a year. The Gagia Classic Pro is built to last and be a workhorse as long as you show it a bit of love from time to time. Number 2. Ninja CP301 – The Most Versatile the Ninja CP301 brews lots of tasty drip fast. It brews in multiple sizes. It has a milk frother for latte-style drinks. It uses a separate filter for tea. It's compact and attractive. The Ninja hot and cold brewed system wants you to enjoy your caffeine any way you like it without leaving the comfort of your kitchen. The Ninja hot and cold brew system is a combination coffee maker that may be the most versatile option on the market. There is more to choose from than just hot or cold coffee, and that means almost endless drink choices. 
Making coffee in the Ninja Hot and Cold Brewed system is a heavily automated affair. The machine has no manual modes at all. In fact, the Ninja system decides one critical brewing parameter that's usually up to you, the amount of water it uses. One of the coolest features on the Ninja Hot and Cold Brewed system is the frothing arm. It's even retractable, so it doesn't alter the profile of your machine when it's not in use. As noted, it doesn't heat your milk for you, but it does provide a cafe-quality froth. If you want to have seemingly endless options at your fingertips in the morning, afternoon or evening, if you can never decide what kind of coffee you want or if you would prefer tea instead, then the Ninja is a great buy. Number 1. Ninja CM407 – Best Overall Owned by Shark Ninja Operating LLC, the Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker isn't the only appliance that's manufactured by this company. Shark Ninja is a company based in the United States and it produces a wide range of household products from ovens to steam mops to coffee brewers. One of the greatest things about the Ninja is its ability to perform a variety of operations while using a small amount of space. The Ninja is more than just a coffee maker, it's a machine that's designed to effectively complete multiple coffee making tastes with quality performance and excellent efficiency. The Ninja has multiple pieces that can be taken out, folded or placed into the machine itself. With a measuring scooper, refillable water reservoir, an optional glass or thermal carafe, there are many features to this machine that make it more than worth the price. After cleaning out and washing the carafe, water reservoir and the permanent filter, you can run 50-50 vinegar and water through the machine to help remove some of the buildup inside the Ninja. The specialty coffee maker is pretty similar to the hot and cold brewer, except it's a little more limited on brewing. Also, just like the hot and cold, this brewer has a 10-cup carafe, fold-away frother, recipe inspiration guide, Ninja smart scoop, and gold tone permanent filter. Overall, I'd say it really is one of the best coffee makers for enthusiasts in the market. Buying Guide Convenience do you want a nearly hands-off coffee-making experience in the morning? Do you want the coffee waiting for you when you wake up? Or is the ritual of brewing coffee something you look forward to? A programmable electric coffee maker can have your coffee ready for you when you wake up. Less automated electric machines might require a little more attention, but still operate with a push of a few buttons. Manual pour-over coffee makers like French press brewers and stovetop espresso pots all require your full attention for that perfect cup. Brewing Temperature the ideal brewing temperature for a pot of coffee is 196 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, so if you're really into good tasting coffee, you'll want to make sure that you buy a machine that can brew at high heat. Hint: Most top-of-the-line machines will list their brewing temps on the box or online. If the info is missing, that might be a sign to steer clear. Grinding Capacity There are two types of grinding when it comes to espresso machines, using a built-in grinder or a separate grinder. Espresso machines without built-in grinders will need a separate grinder. There are a few articles on the best automatic and manual external grinders if you need. Only the more expensive super automatic machines will come with the built-in grinders. If you brew a lot or have a bunch of people using the machine, make sure you get a high